Boom blast. Good evening, good evening. What's up, peeps? All right. So I got a good one for you. I got a banger. Yeah, man. This is from a year ago. I was um, going up to New York, visiting my fam, and I uh, decided to just, um, you know, just drop some gems, things that I believe that would be a blessing to you, current CNAs, PCTs, even nurses, you RNs, LPNs, you know, whatever. All of you who work in an allied health field and you're dealing with human bodies, human lives, and, you know, you have to exert your own energy and strength um, into the work that you do. You understand? So check this out, video right after this. And um, I made just a few um, clarifications in that video because, again, that was from last year, May. No, today is the 13th of September, 2020. So just wanted to clarify that in case you're wondering, like, wait, oh, it's, huh, the day kind of looks strange, you know, and but whatever, whatever. So go on and go check it out and um, hope you enjoy and I hope it's a blessing to you. And uh, until next time, continue to live on purpose, godly purpose. Kaboom! What's going on, everybody? take a ride with me. I'm in my old neighborhood. Anyway, so let's get right into it. The purpose of this video is, so I've watched several uh, videos from CNAs and I've enjoyed a lot of them, but what I have not heard from any of the ones that I've watched is Preventing injury, preventing injury from doing transfers and pull-ups, you know, when you're working on the job. So, I just want to share with you a couple of tips that I do and that you should do, really. This is something that they teach us as, as a CNA, PCT. This is something that we've been taught. But from I've been working where I'm working now, a lot of my fellow peers, I don't see them practicing these techniques. And so I do remind them, hey, you know, bend your knees. You know, when we're about to do a pull up, the person is in bed and we're gonna pull them up because, you know, the, their feet has, is, is either touching the foot of the bed or just how they're in bed, they're uncomfortable. And just to you know, pull them back up, pull their head back up to the head of the bed so that they're seated comfortably. Um, we just, you know, we do a, a pull up, two person pull up. Let me tell you something. I wish you could see this place. I'm gonna show it to you right now. This place been here forever, yo. Forever. Um, when I used to live out here, it's a spiritual reader and healer. And matter of fact, I'm gonna bust this left just to show you specifically what's there. I'm gonna bust this left and just pop right here real quick. Let me show you real quick. And this is this is real life, folks. This is real life. folks they don't know Jesus and you know Jesus is actually the true healer the true deliverer he's your answer to all of your life's issues anyway just want to show you how real it is out here people do worship idols those are those are real real idols 
and they've been here for a long, long, long time. This neighborhood is, is a mixed neighborhood. It's a lot of people from um, India, Guyana, Pakistan, Punjab, um, Trini, Jomia Khan, Ra Ra! You have some um, uh, you have some people that's from um, in the mid um, what do you call it um, in um, Europe Europe so it's a very very diverse community over here and um, I think I think right here particularly is Richmond Hill Richmond Hill Ozone Park yeah, beautiful neighborhood, beautiful neighborhood. But it's a lot of different culture over here. So anyway, back to what I was saying. So listen, guys, you wanna you wanna help yourself by doing um, the the proper body mechanics in lifting and transferring the person from the bed to the wheelchair, wheelchair to the bed, um, wheelchair to the shower chair, shower chair back to the wheelchair. And you, you understand, so you want to work on your squatting. The squats, those are going to activate your big muscles in your leg. It's also going to strengthen your gluteus maximus, your behind, your booty. It's going to strengthen it, it's going to make it firm and strong. And it's also going to strengthen. Um, the muscles that's um, underneath your bootay and, and you're gonna strengthen your quads and you also need to stretch okay I, I recommend before you go to work stretch when you come home from work if you're not too tired stretch again you stretch out these muscles you also want to you know do some lifting you know um, work on you know, your arms, your biceps and triceps, your deltoid, that's your shoulder muscle, the muscles up there in the shoulder, your traps, that's the muscles um, that's right below your neck, behind, um, on your back. So you want to work on your traps and your lats. Your lats are the muscles that's under your arm, running down your armpit, um, on the side of you, where your ribs are. You want to strengthen your core. Overall, you want to strengthen your core, strengthen your back. Because this job will break you down. It will break you down and you're going to have back pains. You're going to have wrist pain, shoulder pain, um, knee pain. So to ensure that you are, you know, not going to be injured on the job, you got to keep your body strong. Keep these things firm. All right, so I'm pulling up now to where I used to live my parents' home. I'm just gonna turn around and pull up in the driveway. So, you know, many a times I gotta remind my coworkers as we're doing a pull up, hey, remember, bend your knees. You know, because you could be doing it the correct way, but they're not. And so, a lot of the, you're doing it the correct way. And so, you'll lift the person, you'll slide them up, you know efficiently but your, your your co-worker didn't do it with efficiency so now we got to do it again we got to reposition them again um, and so the best thing to do is start working on squatting properly so that way when you have to pull a person up or get a person out of the bed and transfer them to um, the chair or shower chair you're doing it with efficiency and with smooth rhythm in your body you know because you've got to do some bending and twisting turning but you don't want to get injured on the job because an injured body a body that's in pain and hurting i'm telling you you're not going to enjoy working you're going to start to dislike the job you're going to be disgruntled a lot of times you're going to be in bad mood because your body's hurting Right, so that's what I wanted to share with you because I have not heard or seen anybody 
who works in this allied health field, you know, mention these things, talk about these things. They got my father's truck. And I used to cut this grass. I used to shovel this driveway. Yeah, man. That's where I grew up at. Cut this grass over here. My mom used to have tomatoes planted way down there. Right there. She used to have tomatoes planted there and some other vegetable. And um, she used to have a lot of flowers planted right here too. Right here. All along here. She had a lot of flowers planted here, but she has not she has not been doing that. This tree, wow, man, I remember this tree. It wasn't, it wasn't this tall and this much when I used to live here. My, my mother planted these too. These have grown. This, this is a rose. It's a rose bush. The thorns are still there, but um, I don't know why it's not blossom, blossoming any roses. Yeah, I used to shovel all of this right here and clean up the yard and man. it's kind of made me feel sad right now just to see see it because this is not how it's not how I remember growing up anyway so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about that house right there was boarded up. I remember it was Christmas Day and that house caught a fire. Yeah, I remember and the kids was home. They made it out alive. But ever since then, it's never been, um, it's never been remodeled and nobody has bought it. And then uh, the homeowner did try to, you know, to, to repair the damages, but took a toll on him and I believe he passed away. <sighs> yeah, man. It's a church right there. I went to that church once. Just one time. But yeah, that's where I grew up at. Mm -hmm. Anyway, talk to you guys later, alright? I'm going up inside. Go see my mother. Maybe my brother's here. And um, that's it. But that's all I wanted to share with you as, as a CNA, as a PCT. Use the proper body mechanic so that way you don't hurt yourself. And ring this bell. She should see me right there on the camera. I'm not one to. It's another thing, folks. Surveil your home. Get surveillance camera for your home. I, think I'm, I feel like I'm leaving something out. Um, what's up, man? Here he is, Mr. Famous. Look at this dude. Oh, uh, with the socks. What? Scooby! What's good, bro? How you doing? I'm good, man. Mom here? Uh, no. She is, uh, she's with Auntie Marva. Auntie Marva has to go back to the doctor to get the, uh, uh, the heart monitor off her heart. I didn't know for, she had a problem. Yeah, for her, I didn't know she had a heart monitor. Right? For when she fell down a few weeks ago. I didn't know that either. Hold on, guys. 